Good afternoon, everybody. Today is February 2nd, 2015, and welcome to our live market analysis uh, of the pound dollar today. Uh, I'm the chief technical analyst here at HyperFX Academy, and I'll be talking to you about some of the advantages of Renko charts and why uh, we think Renkos are fundamental in trading charts, and we utilize them uh, regularly here at HyperFX Academy while scalping. Uh, first of all, Renko uh, is a type of chart or, or bar uh, developed by the Japanese that is only concerned with price movement. Um, time and volume are not included with Renko's. Um, so we find that it is um, very nice at cle cleaning up the noise uh, often associated with charts uh, on shorter time frames such as a one minute or five minute chart. Um, so while scalping I highly recommend using Renko bars. Uh, the word uh, the name Renko it comes from the Japanese word bricks, uh, Renga in Japanese and a Renko chart is constructed by placing a, a brick in the next column once the price surpasses the top or bottom of the previous brick by a predefined amount. So on the right hand side here you see a, a 5 pip Renko uh, chart so every block represents 5 pips so a new, uh, new Renko brick will not be formed unless the price has moved 5 pips above or below uh, the previous bar. So if there's uh, you know a lot of consolidation or noise, all that is eliminated because the new bar will not be formed unless the price action has moved a certain amount of pips. Um, so other benefits of the Renko chart are they filter out noise of wicks and are based solely on price without time. They may be able to uh, easily indicate support and resistance levels. So you notice that uh, the support and resistance levels on our chart are indicated by the red and blue dots and uh, so they're perfectly identified uh, using the Renko bars. They're very clear to see and almost instantaneous. Uh, now we'll be talking about a simple strategy um, that we, you know, we can we can plot out these simple trend lines and show where the price action has broken these trend lines for very simple entries. And these occurred today. So in my example, I'm using the pound dollar as I mentioned previously, and you see a down break here. We drew a simple trend line connecting the dots, and so you see. Uh, uh, a down break there very easily achieved and uh, that was a profitable trade as well and now you can see we continue drawing trend lines here's another breakdown uh, we connect the two blue dots and then as soon as the price action breaks down we have another sell entry there as well so another very simple entry using Renko bars with trend lines okay and then um, we have, uh, I believe, a fourth entry, which was an up break, uh, using the the top dots, the the uh, resistance dots. So when we have a, a the price action break on the upside, we can take uh, a buy trade, and that again gave us another 10 pips very easily. So again, you see three trades here that occurred. You know, we scalped you know 10 to 15 pips each each entry very quickly and this was just uh, within a few hours this morning so applying the Renko chart to um, sorry applying the Renko brick to any chart can easily help you identify uh, price action levels where you can take potential breaks and um, another way to trade this specific setup is when you have dots that are higher highs or lower lows or, or for example if you have two red dots and the second red dot is higher uh, then the first red dot in this example instead of connecting the dots in an angle you simply draw horizontal lines so let me uh, explain how that works so again when you have higher highs uh, so in this case for reds or lower lows in this case for blues you can draw horizontal trend lines and uh, this will give you additional entries and uh, let me just plot these out for you as well so here's our first horizontal break you notice that this red dot is above the previous red dot. So instead of joining them in an angle, we simply use a horizontal line. And once we do that, we can identify the break. And now I'll, here's another example of another horizontal break. Again, you notice this red dot is higher than the previous red dot. So instead of joining them in an angle, we uh, simply draw a horizontal line and then we have another break indicated there. So there you have it, folks. Uh, a very simple introduction to Renko charts, why we use Renko's, and using trend lines both angled and horizontal to time breaks very clearly 
and to help you scalp the market very effectively. Thank you. I'll be joining you guys again later tomorrow uh, with another live market analysis of another uh, potential pair. And we will plot these trend lines, both horizontal and angled, using Rankle bars and uh, show you the results. Thank you very much. Have a great day.